So they want to fight. Well, let's have a fight then. I won this war before, when I was fighting a professional army. I can fight these rebels, these peasants. It's not difficult. Because I have a professional army and I have a lot of vassals that have just pledged that they will fight with me. So we will win anyway. There is no doubt. Especially because we have Vodan on our side. And Donar. The gods of our forefathers. Instead of these new fangled Middle Eastern religions. So yes, we shall ride. We shall march against the rebels. And we shall win. So currently we are here in Schleswig because we helped our vessel, not vessel, our friend, our ally. And just as we were finishing up this uh, war, we got declared war by the Swabian Catholic Uprising. They do have a lot of men. And apparently they also have quite a few light footmen. And some bowmen. So yes, it will be a serious fight. But come on, I have my allies and my professional armies. So those, those peasants and city dwellers and will be no no serious challenge we just need to stick together so i have already ordered my troops to move in on this first concentration of um the rebels at hamburg that is for us the closest and in the meantime many of my vessels will also um rally their troops and maybe take out some of these rebels Okay, let's get to it. And <laughs> the battle is already over. We killed all of them. And just lost a few of our men. It was a slaughter in Hamburg. Let that be a warning. Okay, and you guys don't need to come over here. We will come over there. Let's go. Befriend Kindred Minds. After laborious preparations, I was finally able to spend some time alone with Hofgoria Hata. When we returned to our rooms by the end of the evening, I was certain that I would be able to trust my concubine entirely and knew that she felt the same about me. We are closer than ever. And we became friends. That's very good. That means I need another person to befriend. Uh, who do I have on my council that's not my friend? Oh, my son is not my friend. That does not seem right. And Duke Roland. Plus one. Friend, yeah. Okay, so Inga, you're the next victim for my uh, friendship. All right. Let's go. Battle of Minden is over. Okay. Uh, where is the next concentration of rebels? Here. This is Maastricht. Yeah, their local uh, troops may not have been a match for these rebels. They were greater in number, but we shall deal with them. Look at that. <laughs> They're all following me. Okay. Um, this is big. 
Yeah, phone call. Is anyone sieging, trying to siege on Göttingen? No. Or any other important place like my capital? No. Okay, so we will go here. This is a large group. Greetings, King Kuhn of Groot Vladen. I have lately heard of your disputes with that miserable fiend Bertha, a most contemptible excuse for a woman. Hmm, she's my rival somehow. Um, given our mutual interest, I'm sure we will get along well, friend Visarion of Serbia. Hmm. I eagerly await the opportunity to discuss this further. He becomes my friend. Why not? Uh, can you guys deal with these people here? That would be nice. Uh, I can send one of these smaller, like the Yomsky kings, over here. I have concluded my task. Converting faith in the third fan. Wait a moment here. Um, convert faith. Yeah, okay. Uh, Helder is up next. And they're just patiently waiting. Uh, hold fast, she will join me. And here... Yeah, this is a very uneven battle. 38 champions. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Kikun, says my record of arm. I have to disagree with you just... With what you just... Hold fast gives a guttural growl and while I'm jerks back looking from the dog to me and back. On second thought, I think it's a great idea. Such a good girl. Hold fast. Um, I don't know what we're talking about because I'm on the battlefield. All right. And that's that. Uh, let's send these people over here. And these people over here. Inspiration realized. Over here, my lord, my beneficiary Morvana waves me over with a white green. I have toiled many days and nights, and finally my work is done. She presents me with an object wrapped in cloth as I lift it. A fabric. As I lift a fabric, my eyes grow wide. An elegant crown of very fine craftsmanship. The crown is forged from silver and set with small pieces of zircon. And it gives me extra prestige. A parochial vassal. Okay, that's great. This is lovely. I shall put it on my head. Hmm. Okay. And they are leaving. Go to Bomberg, I suppose. No. They are just fleeing for their lives. Okay. The Battle of Arbenberg is over. Yeah, I know, but where are you? It looks... Oh, no, they're in the south, of course. And you two... Go here. They fled to Bavaria and dispersed. Alliance expired your Eva. Since Stana and Barit are no longer married or betrothed. He is now married to Kerberga, some lowborn. You just divorced Sana, who gave you four children, and who is beautiful, and intelligent, and has good stats, and a very pleasant personality. She's a bit greedy, but that's something you can forgive. What's, what's the problem? 
Why did you want this useless woman? She's a chicken. And she's stuttering. You oaf. How dare you? Okay, and I helped you, right? I helped you. Couldn't you convince your son to honor our alliance? It's shameful, that's what it is. Okay, this is gonna be a good fight. Because we know exactly what's gonna happen. Although I was expecting their war leader to be here, but no. We'll have to fight some more. Which is fine. We will win this too. My friend, the estate. After long thinking, I finally decided to invite Prince Inge to come on a tour of one of my estates in Wiesbaden. Is that where we are? The visit turned out to be an even better idea than I expected. Not only did Prince Inge offer unexpected insight into the matters of the estate, but he also kept my mood bright the entire time. He is not only my son and heir, but also my friend. Okay, and he got uh, wounded. Severe penalty. His health is poor. Drained by mosquitoes. Aggravated wound. And wounded, I suppose, on the battlefield. Ooh. Well, he does have an heir, who is a little young, but okay. Don't die on me now. And in the Battle of Zurich, we won. Zurich, I should say, probably. Um, yeah, let's keep an eye on him. Leader Godzello. Venus. Mm, very suspect. But uh, yes. Every county in the faction gained locals pacified for 25 years. Um, he cannot join another faction. I imprisoned him. I, lo I lost the opinion of him. Okay. And uh, I am allowed to rightfully imprison him. I gained 25 dread. Reading minds. Yeah, disband my troops because we have won the war and peace has returned to the land. Look at that. It's lovely. Uh, okay, first let's deal with this, then we'll deal with him. Today a thought occurred to me. What if I could truly read minds? There are plenty of legends around the world, and even in Dutch folklore, about powerful persons with great spiritual and mental abilities who could read minds. What if I could do that too? What would I use such powers for? Manipulate other people, do pranks, help others find happiness. I'd rather not have such powers. It sounds dangerous. Who would want to hear other people's inane thoughts? Ah... Uh, Manipulate other people for my personal gain. That's what I probably would do. Okay, Godzilla. Yeah, you are a dangerous man. And you were a very bad boy. So, I think you need to be cut a head shorter. Yeah, I can designate him as sacrifice, but this is, again, a minus 50 popular opinion. Um... Let's sacrifice him anyway. Bye bye. I can hold court. Who is this guy? He hates me. And you're a Catholic. No way. And I may not arrive in time anyway. Oh, look at that. West Frankie has fallen apart. And is again in trouble. Bonjour. Hmm, interesting. Um, and bar has become bigger, hasn't it? And the old man has died, and this new guy is on the throne, but he's just a duke now. Okay, that's better. Um, but yeah, he still has the king title. That's not right. I need that.
Yeah, so every time we kill all of them for very little... Okay, here a bit more, but relatively little sacrifice on our side. Okay, so that means we have some more people in our prison, right? This is another guy, okay. Uh, yeah, you are a good strategist, but terrible prowess. So I guess you didn't do well on the battlefield. And you were part of the rebellion against me. Edzo Smollinger, you too. Yeah, who is this? Schooled. Why is this boy in my prison? Well, he could be useful, maybe. Recruit him. Yeah. Jostolf. Uh, you were from the Slesvig War, probably. Uh, can we ransom you? Is anyone wanting to pay for you? No? Or a hook? Ah. Uh. Do we want to recruit him? He's not useful for anything, really. Just let him go. Zemund, we already dealt with you. Theory. Maybe Friedrich wants to pay for you? No? Then you stay. You don't have a husband, but you have claims. Ah. Yeah. Um. You look dangerous. Okay. That is that. The Eagle of Burr can be reinstated. Hmm, how do I do that? This is the guard commander. Ah, inactive here. Appoint someone. Bouchard. He's back. Yeah, okay, appoint Bouchard. So, fanatic and thug. Why doesn't it show what this means? Red game per tyranny. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I think this uh, this accolade UI is very unintuitive. And badly designed. So I do have some good notes. We're good on that. Yeah, okay. I can create the kingdom of Lotharingia, yes. And my daughter, son of a schal, can marry because, yeah, she, her husband divorced her. The brute. Baron Pavo, okay. That's a good one. I don't think I can find, like, an alliance because we have too many alliances, right? Hmm. Kingdom of Sweden. Well, that would be useful. I thought we had uh, Kingdom of Sweden. Yeah, we do. And then Kiev, Kiev so far. And we went there, but it was, yeah, quite something. And then Northman Army. 
You can't call them in, can we? Gautska, I think we already have them. Yeah. And then uh, from Brühl. That's not very useful. I mean, he looks decent for an 18 year old, I guess. Not inspiring, but. Yeah, I think uh, that we will do that. Okay. I'm honored by your request, and I will be glad to call you an ally. That's the son of... I can't son, right? Uh, yeah, Inga. This guy... Success! After lots of hard work, I finally learned the Norse language. Endly, endless hours practicing accentuation, sleepless nights mimicking inflection, countless lessons mastering intonation. It was all worth it in the end. During my efforts, I looked to emulate Queen Saga's accent. I'm sure that she would be impressed with my results. And of course, Norse peasants now respect me a great deal more. I feel accomplished. I'm not gonna write a letter to my wife, come on. A last minute gift. It was my first time at that tavern. I only came there to visit a member of the local elite, but the tavern staff and regulars greeted me warmly as they had not expected such. What is the word such doing? They had not expected their king to stop by. Admittedly, I came on short notice given the meeting location was changed at the last minute, but the staff did a good job of hosting me despite this. The staff had little time to prepare a proper gift, so they presented me with a simple carved wooden ball to keep as a souvenir. It isn't just any ball, however, it is, uh, as it is beautifully carved with a few Dutch stylistic flourishes on it. Okay. It isn't the usual thing a great king would have, but it is mine to keep if I so wish, and it would be nice to have when I'm eating in private or on the go. Uh, of course I appreciate it. It gives me a tiny bit of piety. I do appreciate it, come on. I do appreciate it, and I, I still have a spot here. I can always sw swap it out for something better if that comes along, but for now, my collection of trinkets is not a very impressive, ex except for the ivory chess set, and of course my crown and weapon. Mount Sikos Hunt in Zutphen. Yeah, I mean, he's not exactly my friend, but we're on very good terms. Let's do that. Okay, and it looks like the way is safe. I would rather go this way though, but eh, whatever. Um, this is plains, right? Plains or forests? It looks like this is plains. I want to know. Yeah, plains. Okay. Um, this one. I will join. Do I need anyone to join me? Not really. Order. Nah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Just join the hunt. Alright, let's go. 
Uh, Vasil Kansiko is hosting a hunt in Zutphen and time has come for us to depart. It sh I should be able to promptly represent the house of Oshalk. This should be good sport if the event is properly organized. Can't wait. Homeward bound. After long after a long day of travel, the horizon starts to bleed into warm colors. I take a moment to pause, close my eyes, breathe. Careful! My daughter Caravan Leader Ruli screams, pointing at the plains beyond the path we follow. What looks like a small rodent is running into the wild, then after it, a brown figure I easily recognize. No, hold fast, Ruli, follow her! Um, hold fast is smarter than all of us, she'll find a way back. It may come back on its own. A jewel demanded. An imposing man is standing on the road ahead of us. I'm Herman of Brille. I have bested dozens of men in combat, and honestly, all those fights were dull. So here I am on this road looking for someone better than me, someone I can learn from. If you can best me in combat, I will become a valuable and loyal servant, and so on this day, I demand to meet one of you in a fair fight. Uh, okay, 19 is not bad. Uh, of course, I'm way better than him. Uh, you might be less valuable after I win. Now, of course, I win. He joins my court and my travel entourage. As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, Count Sico has started on the preparations. His gamekeepers check the grassland each day for signs of quarry while building a camp close to the hunting grounds. I've checked my gear and horse many times. It won't be long now. Soon. And there they are. So now... In reality, this, the uh, the forests here, those are the real hunting grounds. But uh, I guess in the 9th century, it could be that the plains of Zutphen also had uh, good stuff to hunt. Although our success chance... Was really low and is better now. The party is called to assemble as dawn breaks over the camp in the flatlands near Zutphen. The local gamekeepers have scoured the vicinity for recent tracks and fumes. The stout buck is definitely in the area and the conditions could hardly be better for hunting it. Ultimately, Count Siku decided he wanted to hunt a stag today. Let's get out there. We follow our quarry into the plane, slowly but surely gaining on a flighty stag. It suddenly spooks, bounding away in another direction, and as I move to see what scared it, I can scarcely believe my eyes. Count Wagen and Count Berkthor are entangled on the ground in a passionate embrace. Get up, I feel the beast is nearby. What happened here? My friend the mask died. And I'm in mourning, okay. Damas was my um, steward, wasn't he? But I replaced him with my son, yeah. And he wasn't doing so great. Okay. And then Alliance of Albavo is no longer a ruler. Okay. Why is he in limbo? Though? Shouldn't he be with his father? Not quite. He is my grandson. His guardian is Inga. I can invite him to my court. He will definitely accept. Yeah, he's a lost little boy. Softly, softly, Grand Sikus huntsmen say they know the place of the beast co covert. Covert? I don't know, I need to look up this word. I mean, I know what the word normally means, but not as a noun. And how to pronounce it. And the nearby waterholes and grazing the stag frequents. Our host thinks for a moment before agreeing that we should sneak up on the unwitting beasts. So be it. Let's try and surprise it. And we paused. Yeah, poor little Baba.
There is something majestic about the way the stag gazes across the landscape. Hidden in the leafy bushes, I raise my bow. Now Zico slowly takes aim, the stag cocking its head as though in anticipation. The arrow strikes true straight into the beast's heart. Good shot. Hounds like these are a pure joy. I cannot wait for the next for next year. We return home for, from the deer hunt in glory. I lost stress. I gained a trade hunter. And dangerous beast slain in Zut. Dangerous beast? Okay. Anyway. Stag handler. That is nice. Finish the hunt. It would be nice if that antler would be gifted to the king, but okay. My friend Baron died. Oh, my friends are dying. Run. Okay. Uh, and that, he was the guardian of Matilda. That is very important to deal with her education. Otherwise, I will forget. Um... Matilda is doing a diplomacy education. Yeah. How is Inga? Not quite the diplomat. Um, where is she? Matilda. Educate child. I can do it myself. But Venom of Swabia. Yes, nothing. Uh, sicko, but where we just were. Yeah, and then we go down to this. Seventeen. Do I have any? I don't have any awards. I will do it myself. Okay, weird whispers. I've noticed that Trivon avoids me more than usual. He always sits at the opposite end of the table whenever we're invited to a feast. We'll say something refuses my company while camping. So he is my courtier. Yeah, he's still a Christian. Uh, but I invited him because he had an inspiration. He wanted to create something, which he did. But now he's avoiding me. We may not have the best of relationships, but that attitude is starting to tire me. Especially when I'll hear him defaming me. Who is a lecherous coxcomb? I'd be a, a way better king than him. Is he crazy? If you want to know how it is, I'll show you. And of course, I'll win. And he leaves my court. Caravan master, really take care of it. No, get out of my sight. Now he leaves. Is that the, mm, this is a difficult decision. Okay, I guess I would show him. I mean, I am a kind of a vengeful kind of person, right? And wrathful. So you want to know how it is? I'll show you. And I win the fight. He is wounded, and I make him leave. And we arrive home. Thanks, Woden. I can go inside again. And Yolanda is pregnant. I hope it's mine. All right. So. What's next on the agenda? I could declare wars. Yeah, I could. And I probably should. Um, I should take this. Can I... No, we still have a, a truce. Can't take that. Um, should we start making inroads into Italy? Or... I do want to fight him and then maybe take Viennois. Montague? Oh, look at him. Little Ragnar is grown up. Ah, good for you. Um, we should actually be allies, except you're taking land that I need 
don't I? Maybe not. No, this is not part of Italia. Maybe we don't need that. Definitely Genoa, but not uh, Provence. I don't think we need that. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we, we definitely should have a, an alliance with him now. So you have a daughter. Can I arrange marriage with one of my children or grandchildren? Pavo, who is in my court, but this would not result in an alliance. Uh, that's a shame. Okay. Alan's Grand Tournament. Alan of Brittany. You're Catholic. I'm not going to go there. I'm going to get murdered if I go there. Well, I'll risk getting murdered. Okay, I think we should go south. Wage war against this guy who has an alliance with Mantua. There. Okay. Um, just one at a time. And Lombardia has been reduced to this count. Who has no alliances. And Tortona. Okay, I think we should just do these three. That is nice. Napoleone de Como. Hmm. Your end is near. And can I declare war for your county? Yeah. And Tortona. Okay, let's try these three. Um, mm -hmm. I need to move my rally point to somewhere in the south. Gullen. And we're being raided. I'll start here. Hmm. We're being raided. Can I... I, I just raised all that I have. I could raise the Yom's Vikings. Supposed to hire them to fight other uh, Asatu soldiers, like the Fulki, but they were the closest by. Okay. Who has the siege weapons? You, but you have no knights. Uh, split off the Varangian veterans and all these good knights. Yeah, select these. Go there, and you go there. 
send you. Well, I need to get a school here. What's this? We're being. No, they're still retreating. Keep an eye on them. An injured vassal. Council Bastion has been wounded and the injury runs deep. I fear that his body is not strong enough to fight this on his own. I feel death ling lingering by his bedside. Well, that is very sad. He does have a son who can uh, take on the county. He, he just has one county. If need be. Okay, let them stay here to defend our realm. And here... And uh, my dog has come back. It has become a daily habit to walk him. And I'm not sure which of us enjoys the fresh air and some the most. Old Fast bounces ahead and looks back at me and barks as if to say catch up. Okay, you have concluded your task. That is excellent. Uh, control county. Yeah. And we have a perk. Open minded. There we go. Cultural acceptance gain plus 20. And that we need because we want cultural acceptance with these guys, the Norse. And we're now at 15%. We're making pro. Okay, uh, control. Hmm. What is this? Waldeck, ah. We were just talking about that. Hmm, maybe Rupin, because that's my son's. Inger's um, county. Let's help him out a bit. Wait a moment, what's happening here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Como, Lombardia, and Pavia. It's just. Yeah. Separate counties, so separate wars. So Como is over, and you guys. Wilhelmina comes of age. I'm proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. Despite being a chatty child, Wilhelmina at times finds it difficult to get along with people. She would at any court would be overly impressed by her grasp of etiquette, but at least she does know how to hold her own in polite company. They grow up fast, and she's betrothed to this guy who is a berserker, and he's handsome, and he's pretty strong, so... Yeah. He is uh, not lowborn, but that's about all you can say about him. Nobody knows his parents, apparently. So, but um, yeah, I decided he would be decent enough to get to, to reinforce the beauty of Wilhelmina. So, yeah, let him get married. And have beautiful children. The curse undone. Ah, Chief Desperta is finally dead. Okay. She was my rival for some reason, but uh, we can't see the memories. She died in her sleep. Well, Good for you. Now, as uh, king of the Netherlands, or well, Flanders, right? But still, Juliana is uh, a name of one of our former queens. 
But it sounds a little bit too... Roman? Greek maybe even, but too... Yeah, not really our... Yonfai. No. Where is my list with Dutch names? Let me have a quick look. Wow. How about that? There we go. And the Battle of Lombardy is over. Great. Do you really think you stand a chance? No, of course not. A lot of my friends are dying, huh? Eh? Ahata died of heart failure at age 51. Oh, she does have two children. Ice bond. Oh yeah, she was my concubine, right? Before she became a, a half guardian at Münster. Um, okay, so I need a new spy master. That is a delicate matter and I need someone I can absolutely trust. Balder the Timid or Sergvia is my courtier and he's married to my granddaughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he's a Norse. Maybe that also helps for cultural acceptance to give him a court position, a council position, I mean. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, and I, I have a situation in my court. Yeah, but I'm on the battlefield. So that will have to wait. I thought I unpaused. Right. The child has grown. Okay, by a class of Minda, and I became best friends with uh, Valram. Okay, that is great. And I seized the reliable lockpick. Interesting. And King Lothar formed a hybrid culture, Carantano Franconian. Okay. Then you guys, no, all of you guys, can go here. And, uh, let's get this. Your low character is the subject of Greek play. What do I care about Greek plays? You are a much greater foe than I imagined. Really, you imagined I wouldn't be a great foe? In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Napoleon, you disappoint me. Yes, you disappoint me. It's under the Anglic language. It's nice. And we have another one. And they do have the siege weapons, so they can go and get these bastards. Concluded task. Increase control. Increase control. Uh, maybe here, Antwerp is kind of an important port city. And you guys can go home. Yeah. So, take 18 days, okay. Thank you for your service. 
and you guys too, right? You're just soldiers. Um, four months. Okay, now you can wait. Sieging Milan, huh? Yeah, I don't think so. I've come this to discover the, the most appalling truth about Prince Inga. Ice Blunt, really now? You're gonna speak badly about your brother? Though I loathe bringing this matter to your attention, I must inform you that this man is keeping secrets of the most alarming kind from you. Really now, Prince Inga? I mean, okay, he's arbitrary. He's awfully good. Yeah, okay, but... He's my son. How dare you? Okay, um, what is the problem that you dare to speak badly of your brother? He's a murderer. The cold-blooded swain behind my grandson's icebound's early demise was none other than my son and heir Prince Inga. You murdered the genius son of Icebound. Yeah, that is not on. I need to plan my next move. Definitely. If that is true, that is terrible. I control Tortona. Highway and my way. Overseeing children can be a taxing pastime, especially when they begin to push against the boundaries established by adults. In that regard, Matilda is not that much different, and more and more of her headstrong tendencies become apparent. Better be willful than weak minded. We can discuss the subject together. Our time to manage her expectations. We can discuss the subject together. And she heats my lesson. The Battle of Vigivano is over, and that means the last of these counties has been taken. Alright, time to disband my troops. Look at that. Beautiful. Like a tongue sticking out from the beast into Italy. And we shall lap up more of this juicy land. Uh, Eric of Munzer, the king of Sweden, has died, and uh, we have an alliance with Baron Thorbrand because he's now a ruler. Uh, yes, he's such a mighty ruler. A well, good thing that we didn't um, arrange his marriage for his might. But yeah, that means who is who is Sweden now? This guy. We do not have an alliance with him, so that is something we definitely need to fix. Although we are we are way stronger now, so yeah. But he has a bunch of children. Uh, she's my granddaughter. Oh, that's because... Yeah, this is Sana. Okay, so I do have an alliance with you. No? Huh? Oh, you were the brute that pushed away my daughter. You divorced my daughter. 
Yeah, no, I don't think I want an alliance with you. You oaf. I should smash your skull. Yeah, these are my grandchildren. Well, I can possibly set them up, but they're my grandchildren. Okay, uh, so we want all these. I need to arrange um, who is going to hold the new counties, and I need to host a grand wedding. The selected spouses, yeah. Oh, Ibe and schooled. But now she's just a courtier, and this will not give us any alliance, will it? That is um, disappointing, let's say that. Okay, I need to have a think about that. And uh, how to deal with the fallout of this war. So I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Thank you for watching. It has been a pleasure. And of course we won our wars. We won the war against the rebellion. And we started um, conquering Italy. So more of that next time. I hope to ch you check back again. See you then.